In today's episode, we're in southern Idaho and we're exploring Castle Rock State Park and City of Rocks National Preserve. We hike among striking rock outcroppings. We have a little trouble with the mouse who stows away in our truck engine bay. We all do a little bit of rock climbing in this area that attracts climbers worldwide. Today we're headed to Castle Rock State Park. This is a state park in southern Idaho that we didn't know existed until a month ago. We're pretty excited. We're gonna it go does. set up in our campsite and then wait till this evening when it's a little cooler to go explore. After setting up the campground on the first evening we arrived, we headed into the state park. We just wandered around the trails for a bit. You could really stand in one spot, turn around in a circle and be happy. We checked out some pictographs, just a short hike from the entrance. No shortage of beautiful views here. We enjoyed the scenery as the sun set and made plans to come again the next day. We're inside of Castle Rock State Park and we wanted to come and rig a rope and let the kids climb but somebody happened to be on the one little route that we wanted to be on. Hopefully when we get back from walking around Castle Rock, which is what this is called, they will be done and have gone home and we can get this little one and this not so little one. <laughs> on the rocks. It's Getting eh, near the end of the hike here. Kevin has just sport climbed this route here. And I lowered him back down. And now I'm going to climb from this end, clean the route a little bit, just to a certain degree, so that the kids can climb maybe up to the fifth anchor point. It just looks way better on this line than if they climbed that line. So that's what we're going to try. They are ready to go. After I climbed to the top and was lowered down, we let both Clara and Nathan have a turn on the rock. Each of them both climbed just a little bit, but seemed to enjoy it and it was a good experience. We don't want to push them too fast, but encourage them to enjoy it and hope to do more rock climbing with them in the future. So for this evening's adventure, we are headed over to City of Rocks National Reserve. Our state park pass that we got for camping here gets us into the state park. And the City of Rocks National Preserve is free. So we're gonna go check that out this evening. The last few days at Castle Rock State Park were sunny, gorgeous. This is gorgeous in its own way, but it's very ominous. So the sign we just passed said that these are signatures on the rock from some of the original immigrants that came through the area on the California Trail. And now it has started raining, so I think today is just going to be our drive through the park, see the pretty things from the truck, <laughs> come back hopefully tomorrow then for a hike. We kept driving and viewing the scenery from the truck, but luckily, the rain stopped after just a little while. This reminds me of the land before time. We got the kids out of the truck to stretch their legs and watched some rock climbers for a little while. 
He is climbing. And do you guys see the rock climbers up on that rock face? They are almost to the summit. Yeah. What is a summit? The top. You guys gonna climb stuff like that with us someday? Yeah. We continued on through the park and found a spot to park to watch the sunset. One of our favorite things um, to do with our truck, other than pull the RV, is to sit on the tailgate and it gives us the perfect opportunity to have a picnic or to just sit and enjoy where we're at. And in this case, the beautiful sunset. Yay, next up, twin sisters. We saw them on the horizon yesterday while we were driving through and the storm came through. We did not get to go check it out. So today we're gonna go look. It'll be interesting to go check them out and maybe catch the sunset there or do another hike. Off we go. Here we go. The twin sisters were impressive from far away, but even more impressive from up close. There's even a campground at the base, which would give you an amazing view. Looks pretty flat out that way, but bam. <laughs> pretty neat. Drove out to see the twin sisters and there they are. So I don't know if you can see Christine's face over here, but uh, we just discovered we have a little stowaway. A mouse crawled up out of the hood of the truck and I turned on the windshield wipers and it kind of ejected it up here and then I watched it crawl up on the roof. Oh, she says it's out there. Oh, well, <laughs> we're going to go see if we can get this little thing off the truck. All right, wish me luck. Hopefully no mouse falls on my head. And go! It's go time, go time, go time, go! I see it. Glad Kevin's the one removing this mouse from our truck and not me. Yeah, it's trying to get back in the hood. I'm not really sure where it is. But uh, I hear some sounds that might just be regular, like hot engine oil. But let's take a look. Do you think if we just drove again, it would do what it did a moment ago and climb out the top? It might. It's awfully hot in there. I sure wouldn't want to be in there. You want to sing the mouse song? A mouse is in my truck and it has been there for a week. Boom, boom, squeak. Boom, boom, squeak. I like how you modified that from the normal version of a mouse is in my house. So we've been driving around a little while now and the mouse has not come out of the engine. So maybe we made the wrong decision. Just decide to keep driving around. I mean, what do you think? I think it either fell out the bottom or it has expired along the way. It just expired. <laughs> Nothing good. There's going to be an arch that we can look through like a window. Ready? And go. After seeing the twin sisters, we hurried over to the window arch hike. It's a short hike and we managed to fit it in before the sunset. So the difference between the campground we're staying in and the one here is that here in City Rocks National Reserve are throughout the entire park. There's not just a single campground, but you go through the whole park and you see places to park. You could park right up there. Yay! You'd park right up there and you'd have your eating area, table, fire pit, tent pad right there. I mean, look at them. They've got an Airstream right there on the edge with a beautiful view right out here. There's another campsite nestled right in the rocks. Of course our big RV wouldn't fit. This is Window Arch! All around the Window Arch area, there are lots of other rocks to explore. And we took the family up one of the rock slopes 
to see the view from the top. We just walked from down there all the way up. The kids are exploring. We found all these potholes that fill with water when it rains. Sit right next to Nathan in that one. That's a good one. Sitting in holes. Having a little rest. I made it! So now we're both a little out of breath. As you can tell, we haven't done <laughs> much of that. It's also 6,000 feet here. That's true, that's our excuse. Yeah, it sounded good to me. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. That was fun. The kids did better than I thought they would, which is actually pretty cool. We're gonna head back up the trail now. Yeah, I think that's it for the night. Night! <laughs> So we got up today to orange skies and kind of a campfire smell. Looks like wildfire smoke's actually moved in. We probably won't be spending too much time outside today. We filmed this view from our campground on the day that we arrived. The sky was blue, the air was crystal clear. Compare that to the second to last day when the smoke had rolled in, really dramatically obscuring the view. All right. Time to go check on the trek and see if there's any more evidence of this mouse. I don't know what it is about this particular car, truck, whatever. And every other vehicle I've ever owned, I've never had this kind of issue with mice. As, as, you, <laughs> as we saw yesterday with that one coming out of the engine bay. Uh, it's not the first time I've found like the signs of mice under the hood. So I don't know what it is. Time to find out or at least look a little more. Well, I don't see anything right off the bat. I think I better check the air filter. Nope, nothing there. Thankfully, no more signs that I can see from here anyway. So maybe our mouse problem's gone. And a quick update from real time. I just wanted to let you guys know that we never did actually find any more evidence of the mouse. I don't know how it left, but it must have. Back to the video. We're ready to go. We are leaving Castle Rock State Park today. Let's close that up and let's get in the truck and get moving. On our way out, we'll show you the campground. Stay tuned for bloopers and scenes from our next episode. For comparison, to City of Rocks. The campsites here are kind of classical state park. You are nestled among the trees, you have a nice private spot. These ones have nice views into the valley. Thanks for joining us and checking out Castle Rock State Park and City of Rocks National Preserve. Stay tuned as we head on to Montana, where we explore some of the amazing waterfalls, rivers, and bridges the area has to offer. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified the next time we release a travel video. See you soon. We will never get down. You'll get down later. As you'll notice when you're RV living, sometimes you wear the same clothes two days in a row. So that's what we're doing.